Hello and welcome back to Zero. So today I am gonna be doing a little tutorial on um on how to make a on sorry not how to make on how to make annotation. So an annotation is just what is an annotation? Well, an annotation is kind of like kind of like a mark. Like you're saying like I'm marking this. Take a little piece of data to kind of mark something, like say, maybe if I add like some default annotation, like say something like, I don't know, I was thinking random, see if in random annotation, let's pretend there's an annotation called at, yeah, I'm pretty much, yeah, it kind of adds a little target, little label onto it, like, something like add method or something, maybe some annotation called that, I don't know, it, does, it probably doesn't, I don't think it exists at all, but, um, at, method and it's, it tells it's a method and it, it's kind of like a little mark and mark said it's a method you could maybe define a custom name to it like maybe go like that's the most name so you can find it and it's like a little mark kind of on thing just to say this is uh whatever like, like not like a little 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 defining kind of like like some like the developers marked this as like that so i'm saying like Kind of like this one, see the ad uh, suppress warnings, um, and he kind of marks that. Okay, so, and this actually means unchecked. So he say it was like, it marks this method with that saying, if there's a warning on the, in this method about unchecked casting, or I think it's like, I'm pretty sure it's unchecked casting or something. Um, ignore it kind of thing like mark and then it marks this with and then marks this custom annotation actually with um hypertension which tells you that which marks this annotation to say this annotation has a retention policy of this so it's kind of mark stuff and also it's just a little thing and um, i'm not sure if this is possible but let's try this out oh whoopsies does that work okay so um, yeah that's kind of it so let's start so first of all there's some default annotations there are quite a few actually to type in at okay, space not not even defined in the custom name up oh god that's loud so it's like there's these annotations these all mean something there's like xml enumeration all of these and i'm pretty sure okay and it's all like this i'm pretty sure i can type like don't ask about these there's something else here um, so my own custom annotations. You can see these little triangle things are all my custom annotations. I'm not sure if I can type in that since I'm working. Oh, it's not. It's a different project, so it doesn't work. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, there's a lot of annotations, and they can hold a value or they may not hold a value. So let's talk about this. Is mostly about making custom markings on here. So I already have a test annotation class. If you want to see this, you can probably download this little description class. It makes a description. And it tests that all and stuff. Yeah. So. Got, we gotta extend the base class, which is this. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna delete this. So, yeah, so uh, oh, something. I don't know what's going on. It's my friend um, messaging me about the, um, he says he got into GS, I don't believe him because he just left 4,000 stars. So, I was like, you're lying. Uh, yeah. So, there you go. So, um, yeah. So, we're gonna create a new class. I'm gonna call this. And notation testing class. Let's call it that. And I just call it ran. No, let's call it. Act. So let's call it act, because why not? That's all I can think of is that. And I'm just going to extend our own base testing class. Testing class. And this just gives me access to a few methods I get. And uh, yeah, so. Sorry, I missed that one. I'm just going to delete this class, because I want to show you a little feature of Eclipse that. It's pretty cool, like a lot. It's called act. It's not too long, it's important to like. And this, they can add a little custom yeah. automatically generate a main method. And yeah, there we go. So we got a main method. Now, so how are you going to go ahead and create an annotation? So an annotation, here you can find it to hold any kind of value, any kind of thing. So, first you got, so you think that, because you call an, an e, an, an enum, an enum. An interface, an interface, a class, a class. You'd expect to be annotation, right? But no, you're wrong. This is how you literally define an annotation. Now, keep in mind, I'm not using the public keyword, um, public attribute to this annotation, because, 
Well, yeah. Well, it's capital. It's a lowercase i. Wait, no, we're all lowercases. Uh, type and let's call this um named element. Let's call it that because I can't think of the name. See, we're done. That's an annotation. Named element. As you can see, that's how you define an annotation. You put an at. It's it's a pretty much an annotation at before it, and that's pretty much an annotation. So, as you can see right now, I can do at name. It's kind of it. Can't do much with the. That's it. That, that's that's uh, that's the entire thing. You're done. <laughs> yeah. So that's obviously pretty boring because you can't really do anything. I mean, you can't like go like. If you, you can't really do anything with it. Exactly. I'm like, oh, I can't do anything with it. What's the point of having an annotation if you can't do anything? Yeah. So of course you can type in here. You can type in. You can add value, so you can hold value. So as I said, an annotation is kind of like a marker that can also hold value. So maybe there's a marker. If anyone knows uh, the event handler. The event handler is a marker in the bucket API. If you, if you don't use bucket, you probably don't know what it is, but it's a marker that tells you if this method, like this method is going is, is going to handle some kind of event. That's a little marker. And then the little value inside of it tells you that this is the priority of this method. It's gonna add some information kind of thing. Very interesting. So I can type in, say I wanted to start, of course, since it's called named element, I call it string. String, and there's two different ways to do it. You can approach it with it with a kind of the value equals to or, or just the. If you notice a lot of these annotations here, oh, like kind of like say like at, I don't know. Let's do add a retention order. Yeah, as you can see, it only has one value. Retention. And if you're wondering how I did this, it's Eclipse. Okay, do this and do it like this. As you can see, it works. And that's how you do it. So normally you would be like, oh. Uh, it is still a factor of value. So pretty much, yeah. That's it. That's it. So, yeah. How do you end up doing this? Well, so say I want to make a name. Now, if I want to do it like that, it's like, does not do like value because of that. Because redundant, it only got one value that I need to do. I can't change that. So what you're going to call it is going to call it the, very, the, the, the declaring type. It's pretty obvious what it is. Let me declare a string since it's a named element. I'm just gonna give it a name. A string name. Sorry, no. string value. That's it. So you gotta define it with these parentheses like a method because I don't know why it just is like that. Okay, don't 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 mind me about it. But yeah, in that type in default. E. There you go. I'm pretty sure you don't. I'm pretty sure you have to define the default for this. So yeah, we don't have to define the default, but it's better better to define it like default. So pretty much just makes that if if you're gonna something if a method's gonna be handling the annotation, it knows to handle it properly. Like it knows that like you try to handle the annotation, if it gets just gets a value named null, you're just like what the hell's going on? You throw a null pointer exception. And someone that's gonna be testing out your program is gonna be like, What is this? And yeah, it's time to find. So after you declare this, you gotta finish this way if you wanna make it really anything of you any use, type in at retention. You gotta add the retention annotation to pretty much anything. And type in retention. Ah, oh, damn it. Dot runtime. Now this pretty much just makes your annotation visible during runtime, which pretty much, if anyone know novice Java users know anything about that, pretty much that is when you're running a program. So you want it to be visible, because otherwise, say like especially things like this, like you can't actually even find like you try to use a method to look for the annotation, it won't find it. So yeah, what's the point? So yeah, so now we have it. We can take at name element. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, should we call this? Should we call the? Sorry, I'm just gonna do this. So, yep, that's very visible annotation. What's that annotation just like this? And. Yeah. There, there we go. So, how are we gonna go around actually using these things? So we can't just go like class dot get whatever I'm gonna do whatever. So, here, so yeah, um, actually, if you don't want to get object annotation, actually, do have a little thing here called get object annotation. This is a little simple thing. It pretty much uh, makes, grabs an annotation from an annotated element. So yeah. So pretty much a um, yeah. So you gotta get this class. Public string. Since we're going to be giving out the name, it's just one value about string. 
So yeah, as you can see, by the way, you want to make it like this. Um, so yeah, I haven't explained this yet, but value. So this can be anything. You just got to type the name of the the name of the variable or object, and then the parentheses like seconds the method. And then you type in default, you want a default, and just give it whatever default you want to give it. I just give it no name, because why not? Name of the title, and yeah. So, uh, it really depends on what you do. So if you type, if I call this name, oopsies, uh, sorry. Uh, if I type it name, I'd have to do name equals to that to make it work. But if you name, if you name the variable value, it will stay. It will be the automatic this kind of thing, yeah. So you know, so the fact you want to do it like that. So public string, and then so I'm pretty sure to get get name of annotated element. That's a long method name. So we're gonna give it an annotated element. Call that. So we're gonna do that. Annotated element. Now, what is an annotated element? Well, it's annotated element's a class that many classes extend. And, yeah. And if anyone knows this, we're, we're doing some reflection work right now. So, yeah. Um, well, let's see that now. Or, or not done yet, so yeah. So, an annotated element, pretty much, yeah, it's an element that can be, that can have an annotation. Something that can have an annotation. A uh, method can have an annotation. A class can have an annotation. I'm not sure if an object. I'm pretty sure an object can have an annotation, but I haven't. I don't know why it doesn't work with that. So I'm pretty sure some objects can have an annotation. But let's go with that. Let's go with the class. I already have the class example. I'm gonna give this an the named element annotation to the annotation testing to the base testing class. Sorry, the ATC class. And then we just got this make with public, private, void, static, void. Prince Pooh. I have literally nothing to do. So we're going to use a method board from the uh, base system class here. We're going to use the method out. And for all intents and purposes, for tutorial purposes, I'm not going to use that this method because it's a little, a little bit weird. It's simple though. So out. Um, yeah. Out. The out. Poo. It's at named So that proper new method. So now we can go with here. So first of all, we're gonna use the reflection system of Java. We're gonna go like this. So if that's actually pretty simple, if elements dot so you can see a lot of things here. Um has it's our annotation present. And this means if an annotation is present on something, like if like like if if, if the element has an annotation present of whatever class, because an annotation, because a class can have multiple or anything, interface class, enumeration, whatever, can have multiple different annotations on it. They're just in different lines, like at. Let's you demonstrate default value over here. So yeah. You gotta have multiple annotations like super slow and error. So of course you gotta have a class. Or type in since we're doing the since we're only doing with the named element class. Named element dot class. Now this is just a class of the named element, that's it. So not much else. This is a class of the named element type, pretty much, yeah. Um it's a something that's already included in Java for quite a while. And it really it's something y'all always call reflection. And it's a kind of a weird thing. Java dot reflect. Of course, that's a little package for reflection. So you got this. Named element dot class. That's it. So now we're checking if the element has an annotation of the named element. So of course this element does, this element does, this this method does, this class does, and this the, the actual annotation type actually does have it too. But the main method and the get name of annotated element method doesn't do not. So we're just gonna we're just gonna type in return element dot get annotation do dot get dot yeah. 
that's it. So we're done. So we're gonna call the value method. Now it's actually called value. I actually call it like a method, that's why there's two parentheses there. So yeah, it's just so you know. So that's it. And then of course if the object if the object does not have an annotation, I'm just gonna call it does not have a name. Do let's do that, just don't have a name. And we'll take advantage of the out method we have in the base testing class here. Just a little, a much easier way of doing the out. So you don't have to type to send that out, don't print mine, just type an out, it's just automatic. So yeah, um, type out. Um, out. Name of ATC plus ATC dot. Get simple name. Plus get name. As you guys see here, damn it. Oh, oh, sorry. And by the way, it actually messed up. It should be static because of uh, the way it works. I hopefully you didn't go in the comments sort of flame warning you yet. Um Element and we're typing so so a class actually extends the uh, the annotated element so type in class it won't throw an error it won't ask me to cast the element because it already contains so it's already a super the the annotated element is already a super class so the actual class class weird right I know the class is actually an uh, is actually a class which is really weird hard to understand but that's how reflection works <laughs> so let's get annotation here. And now let's actually get the annotation. And since we're doing a specific type of annotation, we can just call the value. So it's using the type, the type parameters. We just don't we don't have to actually have cast we don't actually have to cast the um, cast the annotation. We just straight up just do dot value. So I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna do out. Type name of I don't know if this works. I don't think it works. Yeah, I don't think it works. Yeah. Yeah, this definitely doesn't work. Yeah, I don't think it works. Yeah. So, it looks like you have to actually do it's actually a much harder, actually. What you gotta do is go ATC. Class dot get method. This is literally what you gotta do. You gotta go take this. Yeah, so pretty much you have to go type in. To use the reflection system to get to get the method print through, so yeah, much harder to do. Yeah, so yeah, but of course it is possible. Now I'm typing out um, name, uh, not just a proof something, name of named elements class. Now let's go type this class A. So I think another class just to show you. Done. So it's a little class, just a test it there. Call it of A. So it'll be quick, so we just call it that. A equal plus get name of dot class. That's it. So you guys gotta do this, I'm gonna print it now. So I said to hit this and hit control shift O to do sorry, control shift O should automatically care take care of our imports. And then let's run it. So as you can see it says Annotation testing class name of ATC is anno is annotation testing class, and we named it here. And also, as, as you can see here, since the class A does not have the the named element annotation, we we I have the throwback method play here so that it wouldn't print out null or any other random value that isn't really useful. That would literally pretty much just either throw a null pointer exception or cause some problems down down the line. So I just print does not have a name. Works works much better than than just returning null because returning null can really only be used as a marker. Otherwise, it's just gonna be like just detrimental to your actual program. So yeah, it's kind of it, guys. Bye.